Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are continuing on with our X9 Draft League content. Yes, we made it into Top Cut. So thank you so much to everyone for all the support that we've had throughout the season so far. It's been incredible and it's an absolute pleasure to carry on in this tournament. Hopefully we can go a little bit further in today's episode uh, where we'll be facing our first opponent in the Top cut and uh, that is going to be Mr. Jamie Boyd and he's Southampton Superiors I think it is Southampton Superiors but it is Jamie Boyd so I'm going to throw the bracket up right now you can see that we were um, fifth seed uh, which was quite good um, I think that's how it was seeded and then randomly uh, paired up from there so you've got the top top match which is mandy versus viz going to be an extremely good match i mean all the matches in this top cut are going to be really good so make sure you do check out all of the different creators they're all linked down in the description uh, then you got jim boyd versus myself uh, then you got addy versus joe another great match and then fevzy versus the battle room so if we can manage to get through uh, this week, then we've got either Mandy B or we've got Viz. So um, it's going to be tough, whatever, you know. You're going to have to, if you want to win the whole thing, you got to be the best. That's the way to look at it. I feel like I'm confident, quietly confident, obviously quite nervous uh, going into this one, but quietly confident as well. So we'll move on now to Jamie's team. And it's not the, the Southampton Superiors, it's the Southampton Smugleaf. So there we go, got it wrong. I knew Superior was on that logo, but the logo's there. We'll throw his team up on the screen now. You can see he has got Tapu Fini Cartana, Dragonite, Galarian Zapdos, Nido Queen, Weavile Cottony, Galarian Articuno, Zergadri, Alolan Marowak, and Togepi. So he's got lots of support in here he's got lots of heavy hitters as well lots of things that we need to be watching out for now the things that i feel like probably won't come to this match i could see tapu finney coming but i think it's a, it's a difficult match for it to come in for sure against sun uh, he doesn't really have weather uh, at least rain to kind of throw up priority anywhere that's gonna kind of benefit him in that that respect it's going to be difficult. So I don't think Tabu Finney's going to come. Cartana, I can't see coming. In a Charizard Sun team, it's a little bit tough, right? So I don't think Cartana will. Dragonite, I think, will come. Now, Dragonite is a difficult Pokemon. Got access to multi-scale or inner focus, so we can't intimidate it, even if we brought the Scrafty. Uh, the multi-scale obviously reduces damage done to it as long as it's full HP, so you have got to remember that. It gets access to Dragon Dance. It can be a, a prime target for a weakness policy. He's got the Weavile egg combined with that for the Ice Shard um, straight away. Makes it very dangerous very quickly. So got to be very careful around the Dragonite. I think it's one of the big threats I kind of identified going into this video. You've got the Galarian Zapdos as well. Another reason why we probably don't want to bring Scrafty to this one because of that Define ability. Does threaten things like Venusaur pretty hard. Um, and when we played Poker Alex, who Jamie took the place of in week one of the X9 League, we got caught out by Galarian Zapdos, which I believe Alex was running Ancient Power, uh, which is the only rock type attack that it does get access to. So, gotta watch out for that for sure. Um, and another Pokemon that can, can pair well with Weavile with a weakness policy. So we gotta be, gotta watch out. Base 100 speed. Nidoqueen, Queen I could see coming as well. I think can do a decent job here. It gets uh, sheer force. Mainly known for its special side, but it does get some good physical attacks and it also can use rock slide so something not to discount as well weavile i could see coming just for the fact that it can disrupt with fast snarls fast icy winds fake outs faints you name it it's got it um so i can see that coming could also see the cottony coming because it can disrupt with things like encore especially if we go down a trick room route um galarian articuno Going to be probably one of the more threatening things on the team. Definitely threatens stuff like Venusaur pretty hard. Psychic and flying uh, has competitive as well. So we've got to be very careful what max moves we hit into that slot. Um, and yeah, we've got to really make sure that we can kind of manage that matchup really well. Zerkatri, I could see coming. Alolan Marowak, I could see coming. Togepi, I could see coming. So he's got a flurry of Pokemon that could work in this matchup. I kind of expect probably Dragonite, Galarian Zapdos, Weavile, Galarian Articuno. Alola Marowak and hmm I don't know last one could be Togepi gives his team a lot of room to kind of get attacks off and things like that maybe we'll see I don't know it's really difficult this week really difficult um but I have got a team ready for 
this match this week so we'll get into it now we'll show you this is what the preview is about this is the team that i am bringing this week and we will go through it pretty quickly here we go so we are bringing the Rhyperia. it has been a beast and i do suspect that maybe zirkatry could come and i think we need the countermeasure to zirkatry he could bring it and go discharge but at the same time Rhyperia walls it pretty well. The Sash with Lightning Rod helps us disrupt against the Zerka Tree. And I went for the Metal Burst as well because you can't discount the fact that things like Zerka Tree get Energy Ball, um, things like Needle Queen get Earth Power, all things that can knock Rhyperia out. So I feel like the Metal Burst can steal us a, a knockout in really tight spots if we need it. We haven't ever got it going, but I feel like... Maybe this is the week that we do. Rhyperia is definitely coming though. Performs super well under Trick Room, so why not? Um, we got Mimikyu. Now, my Mimikyu going to be one of my main kind of ways to deal with things like Galarian Zapdos, Dragonite, and the Galarian Articuno if we're in a tight spot. And that Alolan Marowak as well. We went for the Life Orb. Uh, we went for a set where we've got Sword Stance, Play Rough, Phantom Force, and Trick Room as well. Trick Room to help support our Trick Room mode because if you look at Jamie's team... He's going to struggle in Trick Room against Torkoal Rhyperia if we can get the Trick Room set up. But he has got Imprison on the Galarian Articuno. Can shut us down. Um, there is Taunt on Weavile. So he's got ways to really disrupt our Trick Room. So maybe if we can bring Mimikyu, get a late game Trick Room, that'll be really beneficial. So that's the Mimikyu. Uh, the Charizard, we went for the Charlie Berry. We don't need to worry about the electric type attacks too much because I think we've got that covered to a good extent with with Rhyperia and we'll get on to the other extents to this a little bit later on in this in this team. Charlie Berry though going to be really really important for us um, just because like I said Dragonite a big threat Nita Queen could be a big threat um, with those rock type attacks and the, the Alolan Marowak as well so really need the Charlie Berry to make sure that Charizard sticks around for as long as possible. Got Dragon Pulse on there it gives us a better way to hit Dragonite as well as lower the attack stat on things like Weavile, things like Alola Marowak, if we do see them come to the to the battle. So I can, uh, that that is a Charizard. Enough speed to outspeed, I believe. Modest Galarian Articuno, I think, I think. I'll have to double check. I'm trying to think off the top of my head now. So that's your Charizard. We are bringing it this week. I think it'll be a big player, it can be. Um, and then we move on to the Venusaur. And it is an absolute tank, this Venus. So we went for a bold nature. We went for the weakness policy. Might not make sense right now, but it will in a minute. Uh, Leaf Storm, Sludge Bomb, Earth Power gives us the coverage to hit everything on his team pretty well. Um, and yeah, like I say, a tank, a tank. We'll get to the reasons why and some calcs behind it a little bit in a moment. Uh, we went for a, this should be Assault Vest on the Torkoal. I need to change this item right now. We don't want to go into the match without the wrong item on it, right? Let's find an assault vest. Okay, we're stealing yours, Rillaboom. Oh my god, it could have happened. Good job I did this video, friends. Right. Torkoal. It is assault vest this week. If you look at everything on his team, the big threats to Torkoal are definitely on the special side of things. It's got good enough defense anyway, so we bulked it out a little bit more on, on the, the special side. I've got fire spin there could have went ancient power but i think the residual damage that we get and the, the opportunity to trap things on the field is going to be really useful um burning jealousy to catch any sort of max air streams which there's a lot of possibilities that you can go for uh can catch dragon dancers out as well with that so Torkoal can perform a pretty nice job um like i say we went for a quiet nature on there just to make sure if we get the trick room up we can take advantage of that and then the star of the show the new member to the team is our meow stick so this meow stick is running a very weird set we've got expanding force uh because i did think about psychic but at the same time i think if he does bring the galarian articuno we can kind of bait him into going for that max mindstorm get the psychic terrain up and then we get that boost we can hit double targets as well he's not got wide guard anywhere on his team so that can be quite important for us if we do see that so that's the reason why i opted over psychic for that uh, we've got Charm, Light Screen and Reflect and it might seem really weird that we went for the Reflect and the Charm but the fact is if we want to make the most of Venusaur we can get the Reflect up, we've got the Light Clear with um, Meow Stick as well but we want to mitigate weakness policies and we want to be able to mitigate the damage done by things that hit extremely hard like Alola Marowak 
um, for, for one, uh, we can mitigate pretty much everything other than the Weavile uh, because it is dark, it is going to be immune to our uh, prankster attacks. And at least with Reflect as well, we can get around the Galarian Zapdos that we can't charm. Um, so there is going to be a conflict if the Psychic Train does go up. But if you look at the, 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 the main thing that we want to kind of outside of the Alola Marak that we would want to charm is the Dragonite. It's not going to be affected by the terrain, so we'll still be able to get that attack off. Um, so that is the team in a nutshell, friends. Um, I'm going to hop off now. We're going to hook up with Jamie and we'll be right back when we get into this top eight match of the X9 League. So we'll, right, we are just hooking up with Jamie now. And obviously I don't even need to say this. Make sure you check out everything from Jamie's side of the battle. Uh, his socials are linked down below in the description as well as his YouTube channel where he'll be uploading his side of the match. So very good friends with Jamie, known him a long time. Um, so it's gonna be good. Uh, it's Battle of the Brits today. Uh, where's our team? top it there we go here we go so hopefully we made the right decisions i'm a bit nervous but it's done now i was up to like one o'clock in the morning last night grinding for armor i was just so i could reset evs and then re-ev everything so it was a bit of a grind <clears throat> but hopefully it was worth it and uh, it pays off today so we are locked in let's see what jamie's got it's gonna be interesting to see what pokemon he's brought and what he's kind of left behind i'd love to see the dragonite not here but I don't see it. I Or the Galarian uh, Articuno. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a few oddities in here. So he's got the Galarian Articuno, the Dragonite, the Cartana, Alolan Marowak, Tapu Fini, and the Zapdos. No Cottony. Um, no Weavile either. That makes things a heck of a lot easier for us, you know? I've got a couple of options where we can... I think I, I lead Meowstic regardless. Okay? I lead it regardless. We need the screen support. Um, just you know the Carta. If we see the Cartana lead, um, it could be quite tricky for us. Um, but we could lead the Charizard as well, or we could lead the Mimikyu. Like the Mimikyu, I really like the Mimikyu. I really like Mimikyu because it just deals with the the stuff that I could see him like bringing up top. Um, I think we'll lead Mimikyu. Game one, we'll take it easy. We'll not reveal too much. And then in the back, we probably want Torkoal and Venu, I reckon. Venu's going to find it hard in this game, though. That's the big thing. But with screen support, it might be able to kind of pull through, you know? Um, and we don't need to pull the trigger on Mimikyu. Like, we don't need to max it straight away. I think we got Venu Torkoal in the back. Gives us a lot of options with the sun. And getting that set up here we go top eight hype is here can we do it and please there's no cottony and weavile and togepi though that makes me feel a lot better about the support options it gives meow stick a lot more freedom we can bluff the fake out because we haven't got it okay dragonite articuno well love to see it love to see it should we just sword stance blatantly in front of them turn one Sword stance and light screen. Because we could we could get a really big lead here. I mean we can max and go for Articuno. We've got to worry about things like hypnosis as well. I think we throw up a light screen. And I think we sword stance. He's gotta be worried about trick room as well, you know. Got to be. Got to be. No max from anyone. He's just going to double into Mimikyu, maybe. We're faster than everything at the minute. We could see a Tailwind as well. Articuno throwing up the Reflect, so we've got the screens. The screens. Screen time. And Rock Slide. Okay. I don't mind that at all. Breaks a Sash. Meow Stick takes a bit of damage. That's kind of fine. We're in a good spot. We're plus two with Mimikyu. We don't need to necessarily pull the trigger either. You know, Life Orb Dragonite. Okay. Um, we could just get the Reflect up now. We could go after Dragonite. But we need to really go after the Articuno, I think. I think Articuno could max here. Let's throw the Reflect up. 
Not really worried too much about the Dragonite. I mean, it is life orb, but if we max, not that big a deal. Just means we can't max Venusaur. I think we max and go after Articuno. Because we are life orb plus two. I don't even think with a the reflect they'll be able to take it. Maybe, maybe. I don't know how he's EV'd it, you know? I did the calcs though. So, depends how much bulk he's got. But we know Mimikyu's the fastest thing in the field right now. We can really neuter like anything like a Cartona that comes in, you know, with the charm. No max from his side. Bye bye Articuno, unless it's sashed. It's not sashed, it goes down, drops, so. Is Dragonite gonna go for here? Dragon Dance, maybe? Gotta be Dragon Dance, dual wing beat, okay. Take that pretty comfortably. Thing is, if we mo remove the flyers from his team, Venusaur just wins this game. Tabu Finney saves me setting up the terrain. We could go after the Finney. Do we re yeah, I think we do. I think we just charm the Dragonite. And then we go after the Finney. Max Phantasm again, I think. Yeah, into Finney. Dragonite protecting, that's fine. Don't really care about you Dragonite for now. Can we get the KO onto the Finny? That would be huge if we do. Not quite, but we do an absolute chunk of damage. Get that minus one defense as well. What's the Finny gonna do? Has to go for something I can't mind. Has to. Ooh, iron defense. Ooh, hoo, hoo. there we go, we like to see it. Okay, so it's plus one, but we get it the next turn. It has to protect. It has to protect the next turn. We can get rid of the Dragonite. Um, do we charm into it? I mean, we can expand in force into the Dragonite, I think, and then go max Starfall into it as well. I think the Finny protects. He might make a call here where he's like against the wall. He might switch Dragonite out. Bring Cartana in. Uh, but a combination of this, even with the Reflector, will still do considerable damage, you know? Um, do you want to bring Cartana in on a, on a Charm? Like, we'd, I don't care about Finny going for these Iron Defenses. It's taken so much damage now. We know it's got life uh, leftovers. Venu can come in and just, just do its thing. Yeah, Dragonite switching out. Marowak coming in. Okay. Is the Starfall? I don't think the Starfall and the Expanded Force are going to be enough. There's a good, a nice chunk of damage though. Finny not protecting. Meow stick faster than Finny as well, so that's something to keep in mind. And the Scald coming out. I don't worry about that too much. The Iron Defense, and that's a uh, max turns finished, so that's that's fine. Um. We've got the Phantom Force, you know. We've got to watch out for something like Ally Switch, of course, on the Marowak. Um, but we could just charm it and just go for the Phantom Force into into Finny here. Um, yeah, I didn't really want to come down to Dragonite versus like Venusaur as an end game, but. An expanding force should get the Marowak. Phantom Force. I don't know if it's going to be enough to get the Finny, and obviously he's still got the ability to max its Pokemon. So, what we really want to do is just allow both Pokemon to kind of go down here. We do see the max from the Finny. Please attack. Please attack into... Into the Mimikyu slot, please. That will be... Perfect if we see that. So we get the charm off. 
We're not going for the expanded force here. That really neuters the Marowak. Makes him kind of have to switch out as well if the Venusaur comes in. Get the Phantom Force away. He is plus two defense and he's got the Reflect up. So he's likely to take. Now he goes into the Mimikyu and Poltergeist into the Mimikyu, doubling up. Okay. Now I think we can just expanding force into the Marowak because that should get it. And then the Phantom Force, we'll see. It's not going to knock out the Finny, but it does enough damage to it, you know. Puts it in range for like Leaf Storm or Sludge Bomb. And hopefully we can take down the uh, the good old Marowak here. Oh, it survives on the tiniest little bit of health. It's the, the, uh, the rain up though. That's Mimikyu down. And hopefully this Poltergeist hits. That works out perfectly, actually, because, like I say, I wanted to get Torkoal onto the field with the Venusaur at the same time. Uh, and he gets the light clear information as well, which is fine. Wow, doesn't even take us down. But we know Venu's going to outspeed the, the Finny, so we're not too worried. And Expanded Force kind of checks the Marowak as well, so we just bring Venu in. We can sludge... Uh, do we Leaf Storm or Sludge Bomb? Maybe Sludge... Leaf Storm's probably the more reliable to guarantee the knockout into that slot. Um, we expanded Force. Let's just double check speeds because I worry slightly. I worry slightly. I need to just refresh my brain. 131. Hmm. Maybe we don't at speed the Finny. But has the Finny got a way to hit the Venu? Probably not. And we know Meow Stick's going to get an attack off into the Marowak before it can attack. So we kind of covered that slot well enough anyway. So we just Leaf Storm. Leaf Storm. And then if we want to, we can switch. Uh, yeah, the Max Guard. That's fine. Now you're going to try and get the Dragonite in. But we waste the last turn of their, their Max turn. So that's kind of all right. So we can take down the Finny. Um, switch into Torkoal. So we take down the Finny the next turn, switch Meowstic into Torkoal, uh, and then we still got the, the Charm Offensive that we can go with onto the Dragonite. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're kind of alright. And a Sludge Bomb, I think, will be enough to get the Finny now. Uh, now it's not maxed, so we've got a bit more of a rely. Ooh, will it be? I don't know, because we're not modest, so... It makes me worry slightly whether or not a Sludge Bomb is, is going to be enough. It should be it should be it should be it should be enough okay so let's switch into Torko. let's go for the leaf storm into finny you gotta remember we still got the lights there the reflect up as well so But as long as we got Meow Stick and the Charm, then we're going to be alright, I think. We just need to get rid of this Finny now. If we get rid of the Finny, I'm going to be in a lot better spirit to, to close this match out. It hits! The Finny drops! We go minus two, but that's still fine. Uh, because now we can just fire spin the Dragonite and just... Yeah, dual wing beat. They go after the Venu, but we get the weakness policy boost, so that resets our attack drop. We will be able to take this, and then we can get a, a cheat yield. Except we get crit. Of course, of course it happens like that. Of course it happens like that. Uh, so the Venus so faints. That's not ideal. Uh, our reflect wears off. Our light screen wears off, but we're all right. I think we just charm and fire spin. Uh, get that residual damage chip in a way chip in a way because he's gonna rock slide. He's gonna rock slide for sure um, We fire spin Dragonite um, And we go for the the charm into the Dragonite as well. Just put it down to minus two um, And that should help us kind of wrap this game up. Hopefully Doing beat Can we take another one maybe Ooh. Come on Jamie, this isn't fair where are these crits coming from every time? We know you've got life or we know you haven't got that scope lens. I mean this, I mean this. And that reflect wears off. So we know what items on the Galarian. Do we go for the fire spin? I think we do. 
I think we do. I think we do. They're minus two. We try and hit it. If we miss here, then we've, we are waste, we're costing ourselves. But at least the charm is a bit more permanent than the, the reflect, which can wear out and he can stall it out. That was my one big worry, I think, about that. We're yet to see Dragon Dance. Rock Slide, hopefully no flinches. Whew, still does a fair chunk of damage, you know. Come on, hit. It hits, it hits. Okay, the residual damage is going to be enough now, I think, to try to uh, to chip it down every turn. So that's enough. With the life orb recoil, we just need a uh, burning jealousy to hit now, and I think we've got it. No rock slide flinches. Just need the burning jealousy to hit. It does hit. That's perfect, and that will be enough with the fire spin residual on top and we are able to take game one so <clears throat> that is a good game one for us we are one nil up now we've got to close this match up we've got to close it up it's pretty tight towards the end there i think it might have not been so tight if we hadn't had that uh dual wing beats crit um but that was uh it happens we'll uh, click in with the same rules lock the same team in and uh we'll get going but i expect maybe a few changes from jamie's end maybe not as well um i can't see him allowing the mimikyu to get set up like it did in game one because it caused them all sorts of all sorts of issues um but he's got a lot of information about our team now uh the big thing from you know that the, the the meow stick is a big a big player right meow stick is a huge player in this match for us do I bring the Charizard? I'm kind of tempted, but <laughs> if we see the Dragon Knight, it makes things a little bit more tricky. Um, it definitely does. Uh, but I mean, even if we see the Cartana, right, like come out as a lead, we could just pull the Trick Room and then get Torkoal in with Rhyperia and then just kind of go to town from there. Although Rhyperia has a hard time. I think we kind of like need the Venusaur almost. Uh, let's go Meow Stick. Do we change things up? Do we bring the Char this time? I feel like we could bring Charizard. Could bring Charizard. Charizard with the residual damage is going to be... Going to be good, I think. We could go Mimikyu, like, late game as well, you know. Um, but I feel like... Toko Venusaur. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's go full Sun mod. Bosh! Let's believe in Charizard. Let's see. Is he going to change? He has to change up, I think. He very rarely does, though. I think Jamie, the one thing you can say about Jamie is he normally has a really good, like, strategy, and he does stick to it, you know? Um, and he tries to adapt in-game, which makes him very dangerous, you know? Because then, like, we have, expecting him to change things up, we change things up to kind of address what he might change, and then he's in a good position again. So it can work against us, but... We've got to try and make some plays. It does make a bit of an, an ad adaptation and bring that Zapdos, which is fine because Charizard, Charizard loves, loves life with the, the reflector. We can go for a, I don't think we want to start. Do we max straight away? We have to max straight away. We go Airstream. It's just what does he bring in, you know? He's probably a Salt Vest as well. But he kind of needs to max the Airstream. He could be faster than us as well, you know? That's the big thing. Um, I think we dive. He could have Trick Room as well, which is the big thing on Articuno. He could have Trick Room and kind of counter play us here. Which might not be ideal. But let's dive in with the Zard. I think we've got enough bulk to kind of take a flurry of attacks at least. Especially with the Reflect up. It's just whether or not he's got Ancient Power, which... Well, we've got... We do have the chart here, okay? So we're not in the, like, the worst position right now. <sighs> let's see. He's maxing something. It's going to be the Zapdos. I think it's going to be the Zapdos. It has to be the Zapdos. It has to be. Might not be, though. Mm-hmm. It's probably got 
Otakuna probably got reflect as well. Uh, light screen as well. Probably got a soul fest, you know. Might have weakness policy. Who knows? We will soon find out. See the speed tiers on it. Is it max speed? I would imagine it is. No, it's not. So if he does airstream here. Oh, we could get the sun up next turn. There's a light screen. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all right. Okay. Is an expanding force? Is an expanding force and an airstream going to be enough to get him? Got to think that could be the double up we do. Just gives. It gives Articuno a little bit room. Uh, uh, I think we go for it. He might max guard. May do. But we want to punish if he doesn't. And I definitely think, even behind a light screen. Maybe not. I think he'd probably take... Well, it depends. It depends what Meowstic can pump out with a, an expanding force, you know. At least we should be able to get... Um, yeah, no max guard. don't think my expanding force is going to be enough to get it but he has to go airstream again and we know we can blast burn the next turn and get the residual damage air slash into a meow stick which is fine we can go for light screen the next turn as he airstreams again um yeah i think an expanding force will get the zapdos the next turn but I think we're better off, to be honest. I think, honestly, we're better off going light screen right now and going for G Max Wildfire. Ah, it's just if we go. Yeah, we need to go for the Wildfire. We need to kind of go for it into Zapdos, but it's like he could. Do we just go for the Expanding Force and forget about the light screen? I think we might have to, you know. I think we might have to go. Oh, is the expanding force going to be enough? That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. Let's think of the long game here. Um, I think we go expanding force. G Max Wildfire. We go for it. We need to get this off. He knows we do as well. So he's kind of got us here. We could have went for the Zapdos. Goes for the Airstream. Going to be into the Zard. Oh my god, it's a critical hit. Are you actually joking? Are you actually kidding? Okay, well, we get the Zapdos. It wasn't... Well, we get the crit. Okay, I don't think it was enough to get it. But, I mean, it doesn't really make any difference. It was going down at the end of this turn anyway. See what this Articuno does. Oh! He pulls a Trick Room out. And we've got Torkoal to come in. To come in. And just absolutely obliterate now. <laughs> come in, boy. We are at home now. We are at home. Tapu Fini fine we've got room to get the light screen up now as well which is all right i think we just eruption <sighs> light screen eruption yeah ba -da -da -dum. and if we reverse to the trick room then we get v new in and we're all good Hey, Eruption's not going to do too much to Finny, of course. And he could Calm Mind, he could start Calm Mind. But has he got Iron Defense and Calm Mind? Has he? I don't know. We got the Residual Chip as well, which is going to help us massively here. So, still sad about losing Charizard the way we did. Poor Char. So, we get the light screen up. We get this big fat Eruption off. Oof, that Articuno is gone this turn. Calm mind. Okay, well, 
We need to get Vinu on the field pretty sharpish, to be honest. Um, Air Slash into... Oh, we would have, I would like to have seen it into, um, into the Meow Stick. Uh, yeah, to get rid of the Meow Stick, but uh, not the case. So... Um, Artie's gone. What's the last Pokemon going to be? Please let it be Cortana. It'd be my dream come true if it's Cortana. If it's Cortana. Please let it be Cortana. I think it'll be... Oh, it's Dragonite. Uh. Okay, well, we get a last ditch charm off into the Dragonite. Um, I think what we'll do is go for a fire spin into Tapu Fini so we can stack that residual damage because it's going to be so important to kind of keep keep it checked while uh, the sun is still up and while we still got two turns of uh, max wildfire. So we need to hit this 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 uh, fire spin and feel like we deserve a little bit of luck to hit the fire spin right now. Dragonite protect, and he's going to take down the the uh, the meow stick to ensure that he's got um, a free path to rock slide. Come on! Ah! Ah! We still got the light screw, the reflector, right? We need to just eruption, I think. I mean, we could have switched in Venusaur there. It might have been a better play and just went for the eruption. <sighs> Got one more turn of Max Wildfire, right? We know that Venusaur is going to move last. Can we take a dual wing beat? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If we lose Venusaur, that's it. How many turns of Trick Room we've got left? Two turns. Rock slides, dual wing beat can miss, dual wing beat can miss. Venusaur's the fastest thing in the field by a mile, by a country mile. An eruption, sludge bomb, a dragonite. But I think we need to. I don't think we can afford to leaf storm now. I think we sludge bomb the finny and I think we eruption. And then I think if Venusaur can get through this turn, we can protect and then just try and clean up with the weakness policy booster next turn. Oh, does like nothing. Does nothing after that chip. Um, I can't mind coming up. Can we take the dual wing beat? That's going to be the big question. With the reflect up, I don't know. With the life orb, we just kind of need it to either. Oh, he goes rock slide. Okay, that will do. That will do, pig. That will do, pig. Oh, but we flinch. Come on. Come on. Give us a break. He's getting every break. He's getting every single break here. It's not ideal. Plus two Finny. Um, hmm. But one more turn of tail. Uh, okay. Well, we need... We need... Okay. Well, we can get the Dragonite. No problem, right? We need the Fire Spin onto the Finny. We need that residual chip every time. We need it. We need to hit it this time. We could burn in Jealousy, but we need the Fire Spin. We need that residual chip for four more turns onto the Finny just to keep it in check. Keep it in range for the Venusaur to get the Sludge Bomb. I'm gonna Rock Slide again, I think. We hit it this time. That's what we want to see. It does nothing, but it doesn't matter. It's the residual damage that we're wanting to get. Draining Kiss hopefully doubles into the Venu here. I'd love to see it. He doubles in. That's perfect. Now we can go Sludge Bomb into the Dragonite. Because there should be enough turns of Sun left now where we can get... Yeah, that is a good chip. That is good chip. Dimension Sun back to normal. Um, Hot Sunlight one more turn. <sighs> okay. Right, well we have to we have to sludge bomb. We have to sludge bomb the Dragonite. Hope that it's enough. Hope that it's enough. And we have to Earth Power. Is the Finny gonna attack? I mean the Finny the, the Dragonite has to protect here. That's the thing. The Dragonite has to protect.
I think we I think we go after I think we sludge bomb it. Yeah, okay. Please be enough. Please be enough. It's not even enough. Do we get the poison? We don't even get the poison. But we take this though. Can we take the second one? That's the big thing. If we can, we might be in the money. Okay. No crit this time. Can we take a draining kiss? Scald. Oh, he goes for the... F okay. Okay. Earth power. If we get like a crit here, that would be huge. Huge! Is that a crit? It is a crit! That's what we needed! Now we need to be able to outspeed the Dragonite. Now we need to be able to outspeed the Dragonite. But the Dragonite hits anything, right? It's going down to recoil damage. The problem is, like, Torkoal is... Um, we could double protect here. The light screen wears off. So, Misty Terrain wears off. <sighs> he scolds. He scolds us. It all comes down to what speed stat is the Dragon... How fast is the Dragonite, you know? How fast is the Dragonite? And is the Finny going to outspeed us? Because we could double protect here. I think we double protect this turn, right? Oh, we can't double protect. So, I think we just have to... We just have to go Burning Jealousy. Or do we check the... Do we check the Finny? With a Sludge Bomb. And Burning Jealousy. I think that's what we have to do. We could protect the Venusaur. Ah, he's faster and he's going to get us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's faster out of the sun. Okay. I mean, we could have protected... But then he still gets us anyway. We'd have to have a rock slide miss. Joe Wing beats miss. Yeah. Because he only goes down to his recoil. So, like he would have went down there to... Uh, okay, yeah, we've actually cocked up royally there because we protect Venusaur there. We allow the Torkoal to go down. Recoil takes the Dragonite down. Fire spin. Then chips at the Finny and Venusaur cleans it up. So we just actually just chuck that match away. Okay. We were pretty unlucky in that one. Like, I'm not going to deny that, like, I don't think we should have lost that. But, um, it happens, right? You're going to use these attacks. You're going to get opportunities where increase your chances to crit. You're going to get them. So, <clears throat> down to game three. I can't believe I've just chucked that away. Just thinking too quick. Oh, come on, Lee. Come on. We need to do this. We're on the we we we're, we're, we're going to be able to do this. Let's just think about this. He's definitely bringing that Articuno up top, right? So let's bring the Mimikyu. What did he bring last time? The Zapdos, right? Do we want the Meow stick up top or do you want it in the in the back? Because we could bring Mimikyu and Charizard. We could just bring Mi Mimikyu, Meowstic, like we did game one. And then finish up again with Venu Torkoal. But I think he's going to prepare for that a little bit more here. But I think he brings the Finny anyway. So that's why the Venusaur feels like it's, it's the better option. I think we do that, yeah. I think we go back to Mimi. If we see the Cortana here, we can still do stuff. I can't believe we just chucked that away. We literally just chucked that match away. Although the Finny could have outsped the Venu out of Sun, which I do suspect maybe would have been the case anyway, you know? I think so. Potentially. Potentially. Now Charizard outsped that Zapdos, right? Thing we could do is take a big lead and just go for go on the offense and go after the Articuno here. Stop the screen support. Like completely. Because if we stop the screen support, it makes it a lot easier for us. And I think we can blow up the, the the Articuno, and we can just throw up a reflect. I think. Yeah, you might go max airstream. 
but I think we go for this. As long as Mimi outspeeds his Aptos, that's good. Yep, it looks like we are going to be able to. We should be able to get that Articuno here. If we can just remove it before it can get a screens up, that's huge for us. Yeah, Zappy gone, big, big bird. It's fine. Max Airstream, I'd imagine that's what we'll see. Has to go into Mimikyu, break that disguise, I think. As I reflect, stop this Articuno before it can do anything. Now, I think we get even 252-148. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, that was like a minimum calc that we did with our. The problem is, we give the, the Zapdos uh, an attack boost, which is not ideal. But if it doesn't go Airstream here, it, which it will, it will, it will 100% go Airstream. Ooh, it goes Steel Spike. Huh. Makes that disguise. So we still got the speed advantage, which is pretty huge for us because they just. Yeah, okay. Now we get. Oh. Ooh. <sighs> now we can go for. <sighs> Max Starfall, Expanding Force. He hasn't got the light screen either, so maybe that combination is enough. The defense is exactly the same because we kind of nullified it. So it's a little tricky for him right now, you know. Especially because the Mimikyu had speeds as Aptos. He kind of needs to get the jump on us, really. Marowak coming in uh, makes it it makes it difficult. Although we can charm the Marowak, but it detracts away from being able to expanding force. The Zapdos, which is not ideal. Um We have to go after the Zapdos. We have to go after the Zapdos. We have to. We start for oh, start for the Zapdos, and we go for an expanding force as well into the Zapdos, and hopefully that combination is enough to get it. Marowak detecting that is fine with me, my friend. That is fine with me. We do not mind that one little bit. Is this combination enough? If it is, I think we just win. <sighs> It's gonna be very close, it's gonna be very close because he has to go Steel Spike again, which means that potentially Zamara Meow Stick is it gonna outspeed? Unless okay, airstream. Take that, but it doesn't help us out for this next turn. It's just whether or not this expand expanding force can be enough to get the, the zappy. Not quite. Critical hit as well. Okay. 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 I mean, we can nullify the Marowak, so it's not really doing anything, you know? Um, we could keep the Mimikyu as well for later on, because it gives us a better matchup against Dragonite, which is potentially in the back, where we could get something like Torkoal in now uh, to take the attack. Um... And we just let the Marowak go down. And go for Expanding Force again. We could Max Guard actually. That's not a bad play. Um, and we could Charm into the Marowak. Yeah, let's Max Guard. Because I think you go you have to go for the, the Mimikyu, I think. I think here. We can Charm the Marowak and make sure that it's not like doing ridiculous amounts of damage. Because... That's normally what, what it does. Airstream into Meow Stick. So we did get a free turn here. But, I mean, kind of not the... Not, not the worst. Is it the worst? Is it the worst? The Marowak going to get in it. What's it going to do? Flare Blitz. Blitzel. Flare Blitz. Okay. I think what we do is... Your Venu. This could really backfire on us. I, like the Zapdos has to go brave, like has to go brave bird into the Venusaur, right? 
I think the damage that it does to something like Torkoal will be enough to get it with recoil. Um, which could be enough for us to potentially get a Trick Room up, right? Although the Marowak is just going to attack us. The Marowak is just going to go for Flare Blitz. Do we go Phantom Force, maybe? Because we could potentially just play rough the Zapdos. Or we could Phantom Force. Phantom Force the Zapdos and I think go into Torkoal. And hope. Oh, we timed out. Oh, we timed out. Great birds. If we're faster than Marowak, we are in a good spot. Uh, no, that's not what we wanted. That is bad. That is super bad. That is super bad because the Brave Bird is going to chunk us like horribly. We needed to do that switch to talk. I think we just lost ourselves this match, to be honest, because we needed to. <sighs> we needed to. Um, yeah, we needed to. Uh, we needed to double protect. We needed to switch to talk. So the Zapdos took itself down. Um, and now we've got. A problem. Now we've got a, a big problem. A big problem. -o. Big problem. -o. Because we cannot take the double up. We cannot take the double up from the Venusaur. Um, the Zapdos is going to take itself down with recoil anyway. I think the big thing for us here would be maybe we could eruption, right? And go for if we get a double protect. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, if we get a double protect, we could we could get the eruption would be enough. To, to clear the field. But it's very wasteful. It's very wasteful. Very wasteful. Come on, Vinu. Ugh. I, I mean, we had to go for it, right? We had to go for it. And we don't even survive that anyway. That's why we needed to switch to talk all the last turn. And now we're just going to get obliterated by this Marowak. It's going to go like Poltergeist, I think. And they've got Finny in the back. On Mirang, yeah. Minus two, it's not really doing anything, but I mean, yeah. Our only hope is like Cortana coming in. But I just don't see Cortana coming. It's going to be Dragonite. We just literally thrown this game away. We threw it away in game two, and now we've thrown it away in game game three by timing out. I'm so annoyed at myself. I'm literally so annoyed at myself for this. Um, there's not really much we can do. There's not much we can do at all here. Uh, we can fire spin the Dragonite, but I mean, we can't protect on it, can we? So we have to like burn in jealousy. <laughs> there's not, there's nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. We lose. We lose. We're going out. We're going out. We need like multiple misses. the flinches it was in my hands I'm quitting there's no point in playing on I'm done I'm done I'm done I'm I'm so annoyed at myself because you know it's just silly tiny tiny small margins silly mistakes uh, and we've thrown it away good game to Jamie um I think we prepared well enough but Jamie obviously played extremely well to kind of get the win there. So good luck to Jamie in the rest of the tournament. I hope he does extremely well. Um, and definitely check out Battle from his side of things. A little bit sad to end like this. Just want to say thank you to everyone for all the support. Uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't progress any further. Uh, a little bit annoying on my end. I'm more annoyed with myself, more frustrated with myself than anything else. So don't think I'm like salty about it. I'm just like, I'm just disappointed with myself. Um, it could have went a lot better, but... It's how it goes sometimes. You've got to learn from these mistakes, right? Come back strong. I hope you've enjoyed today's set, friends. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you all for another episode on the channel very soon. So until then, bye-bye. Bye-bye.